everyone. Thanks for checking out your evening update to your daily forecast. What a gorgeous day it was today. Sure, some high-level clouds, some jet contrails, but other than that, it felt great. Hopefully you had a chance to get out and enjoy that because the wind, the rain, the clouds, and the warm temperatures return tomorrow, tomorrow night into Friday morning. Falling temperatures as we get into the weekend, at least Saturday is going to be the cool day. And Saturday brings us a chance for maybe a little bit of light mountain snow showers early Saturday morning, but clearing up Saturday afternoon. So I'll stay tuned. I'll keep you up to date on that, how that plays out over the next couple of days. As we head through the rest of our evening hours, beautiful. Enjoy it. It's a nice evening for a nice little walk, stroll outside, barbecue, grill outside. Enjoy that. By 10 o'clock, we're down to about 49 degrees. Now, those southerly winds will stick with us, so that means mild temperatures as we get started. We'll be in the 40s Friday morning. Friday, excuse me, Thursday morning. But Thursday afternoon, we'll see those temperatures climb to the 60s. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm ready for the weekend. How about you? As we get into our Friday, here comes that trough. And so our temperatures will come down just a little bit on Friday, but a little bit more so on Saturday as we get that reinforced shot of energy and slightly cooler air. So we've got a 20% chance of some early morning activity on Saturday. Then we'll clear things up Saturday afternoon and into our Sunday, Monday before a little bit more active, active wet weather returns next week. So here's how it all plays out. Picking up our timeline Thursday morning. Most of the day on Thursday will be quiet and dry, but then those rain showers increase. Winds are going to be gusting out ahead of the front anywhere from 25 to 35 miles per hour. The main line of showers comes through anytime after about, oh, 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night, at which point it slides off to our east, and then another disturbance to our north will come racing down on Saturday morning, and that's going to bring us the chance for a little bit of cloud coverage and maybe a little bit of a wintry mix, some snow across the higher elevations, maybe some light rain showers in the valley, and we're generally speaking, we're talking about a half an inch of rain with that Thursday, Friday storm. Saturday is going to be the coolest day down to 53. Next week, Absolutely picture perfect. Yeah, we've got a couple of disturbances that will bring us a chance for showers, maybe a few thunderstorms, but it's going to be warm with highs back into the 70s, or I should say into the 70s. A little bit more of a roller coaster ride for morning lows. We'll be in the 30s, 40s, and even some pockets of 50s. We continue our countdown. By the way, more on that coming up here in just a second, but the countdown to, well, springtime, my friends, and it could be rather springy like. Spring-like, anyways, as we round out the month of February and head into the first week of March. Indications are there that we may be training above average. Here's the countdown I was talking about. Daylight saving, only 18 away, days away. Spring, 27 days away. However, next week is definitely going to feel like spring. Have a great night.